When it comes to deer hunting, one of the most debated topics is what gets deer moving. Are cold fronts really the best times to hunt? Does high wind and rain or snow affect deer movement? Is it better to be hunting during uh, times when the barometric pressure is rising or falling? Now, I've always been an advocate for hunting high percentage days only, and what I mean is only hunt the days where you think you have a high chance of seeing your target deer or just seeing deer in general. You can very easily burn out stands or chase off good hunting by hunting too much in a spot when the conditions just aren't right. Now I do have a couple of low impact spots so when I really want to hunt and I don't have you know very specific conditions that I don't think are very high percentage days, I can hunt there with specific winds and I don't really affect my hunting overall on the property too much. So the conditions that I look for in those higher percentage days is a higher amount of wind in a favorable direction for my scent control, and then obviously deer up and moving on their feet. But there is so much information about there about what weather conditions get deer moving more that it's a lot for hunters to pay attention to. But should we even be paying attention to it? Does it affect it enough that we would even really notice a big difference? Well, in this video, we're gonna go over three weather conditions that supposedly impact deer movement. But before we go over these weather factors, do me a favor and if this is your first time on my channel, hit that subscribe button and make sure you click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And the first weather factor that influences deer movement is temperature. So we're going to start off with the big one. I know we all hear that cold fronts are the best times to hunt, but what even is a cold front? What constitutes a cold front? Well, a cold front or a cold snap is any sudden drop in temperature of 10 degrees or more from the daytime high. So my favorite times to hunt is when you've got a stretch of steady temperatures, like the whole week it's 50 degrees, and then all of a sudden now you've got highs in the 40s for a couple of days, those are great times to hunt. You will see more deer movement on those days. And on the inverse of that, you've got a, you know steady temperatures in the 40s, and then all of a sudden you've got a couple of days in the 50s, you will see a decrease in daytime deer movement. Or at least that's what everybody says. The Weird thing is, is that these studies done on temperature's effect on deer movement seemed to show that temperature played a minimal role in deer movement. In fact, it was actually the only one that showed any significant, and significant is used in a loose term, uh, effect on deer movement. It had, it had a very low effect, but it was the only one that had really any measurable effect. And it's just weird to me because I really do think that anytime I get those cold snaps where all of a sudden it's about 10 degrees or more colder than the average uh, temperature, I do feel like I see a lot more deer movement. But the only time I really see a decrease in deer movement is when it's considerably higher than you know the daytime average. So what does this mean for hunters? What, what does it mean that the science, the studies, contradict what most hunters think has an effect on deer movement? So here's my advice. Unless it's the rut, Keep paying attention to temperature. Keep looking for those days where you've got a drop of 10 degrees or more in temperature. If it's the rut, temperature doesn't matter. The rut happens anyways, and you should be out there any day you can and you have and hunt in those places where you have the advantage. And the second weather factor that supposedly influences deer movement is barometric pressure. And so just like cold snaps or temperature in general, we often hear from hunters that barometric pressure has a huge effect on deer movement. And the idea is that the higher the barometric pressure, the better the deer hunting is, at least according to a lot of hunters. There are tons of articles out there about capitalizing on the rising barometric pressure to see more deer. They even go into so much detail as to describe, you know, the function of deer's inner ear and all that. But here again, the studies show that there is absolutely no correlation between barometric pressure and deer movement. And so barometric pressure hasn't really been something that I've paid too much attention to when it comes to picking good days to hunt. But it is something that I've always been kind of curious about. And so last year we did get more serious about our observation data and harvest data collection. And so with our harvest data, we started, you know, factoring in temperature and uh, barometric pressure and weather conditions like fair, cloudy, or rainy, or whatever. Now we only harvested two deer on that property last year and the barometric pressure for both of them was pretty close. It was 28.94 and 29.91. So pretty close and on that higher end, but it's not enough data to really, you know, say anything. Two points isn't a trend. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that kind of information to our observation data and see if there's any real difference in how much and in, in the amount of movement we see from day to day. Now, this data may not really mean anything. It may not 
come to any kind of conclusion, but more data is never a bad thing, and it's definitely not very scientific by any means. But the bottom line to me is, is if you think that higher barometric pressure equals better deer hunting, then by all means, keep looking for those higher pressure days, the days when it's 29 or 30. But again, none of this matters when the rut is on. And the third factor that could influence deer movement is wind speed. So let's say you look at the extended forecast and it is expected to be very, very windy on the day that you plan to hunt. So should you just stay in bed or watch football all afternoon instead? Well, that would depend on the wind speed that's expected. So during very strong gusty winds, the deer movement does shut down quite a bit. And those are the days that I will tend to avoid. However, when I say strong gusty winds, it's a lot higher than you probably would think. And the same kind of goes for rain on those light rainy days that's actually great times to deer hunt but on heavy downpours just avoid them and we'll talk about rain a little more in another video but just a quick tip if it's lightly raining definitely still stay out there but back to wind penn state actually did a study back in 2013 measuring wind speeds effect on deer movement and they broke it up into several categories they had calm which was anything less than a mile per hour they had a light air which is kind of a weird title but it was between one and three miles per hour they had light breeze which was three to six miles per hour they had gentle breeze which was six to ten miles per hour and then they had moderate breeze which was anything above ten miles per hour what they found was that deer moved the least during the daytime when the winds were calm and as the wind speeds progressively got stronger the deer movement increased and what's weird is that it was actually the opposite during the nighttime calm nights meant the most deer movement during the night and then less as the winds progressively got stronger which if you think about it it kind of makes sense because with less visibility at night that means they got to rely on their hearing a lot more and so really the takeaway here is that you should avoid hunting on the days when the wind is calm, anything less than a mile per hour. And that deer movement is actually pretty good any time the wind is above that. And this goes beyond deer movement. Um, you got to think about how the wind affects your scent control. If you've got no wind, you're just going to create this giant stink bubble that's going to hang around and then you're very subject to the changing thermals. So that was three factors that supposedly kind of affect deer movement. And I know that these studies kind of contradict what all hunters uh, kind of believe. Uh, I really do think that there's something to the cold fronts and the wind speed, not so much barometric pressure. And I still don't think moon phase has any effect, but again, it's all subjective. So let us know what you think about these studies down in the comments below. So hit that like button if you like this video, share it if you found it helpful and make sure that you are subscribed so you can stay informed.